To an update on our Stop for Students initiative, several charter schools feel like they are being ignored when it comes to school safety. And their wish list is pretty basic, flashing lights, slower speeds, crosswalks, and crossing guards. New Socialist Dan Rascone is covering this story and joins us live. Dan, you would think once there's a school, those things just come automatically. Yeah, you would think they come automatically, but they don't. You know, Hawthorne Academy just behind me here is one of those charter schools who do feel like they're being overlooked because just around the corner, you, you have South Jordan Elementary School, which does have the flashing lights, reduced speed zones, crossing guards, and also crossing walks. Twice a day like clockwork. About 400 plus cars come through. Hawthorne Academy deals with hundreds of kids. But it all bottlenecks at the, at the front of our school. And hundreds of cars in front of their school. A scene before and after school that Principal Jeremy Craig always has on his mind. Making sure my kids are safe. The school sits right along a very busy 114th South. But this is not a designated school zone. There are no flashing lights, no reduced speeds, and no additional crosswalk. Jeremy says he's been trying to change that for years. It's really been, in the last six years, seven years, it's really been a back and forth tug of war as to who really is going to be taking responsibility to make sure that these kids are safe. We would like to see a school zone. The same holds true for Bonneville Academy in Twilla County. Just last week, they had a mom and her son hit at an intersection in front of their school. We've been fighting for us to have either a reduction in speed sign or school zone, a crosswalk, a crossing guard, any of those things that can help us get our students to the school safely. Just two of several charter schools who we spoke with feeling like they are not getting the same treatment as neighborhood public schools. There shouldn't be a difference when it comes to student safety. Uh, so we, we don't understand the difference. Yeah, UDOT traffic officials are telling me that there is no special treatment here. They say everybody is treated the exact same. They say everybody must follow the same code of guidelines there to become an actual school zone. They say sometimes charter schools are not bringing kids from neighborhoods, so they don't have as many kids crossing the street. They have a lot more people driving in. But either way, this is a debate that's not going to end anytime soon. Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, it sure isn't. Thanks, Dan. We'll stick with KSL as we bring you exclusive Stop for Students content all week. To see more of our in-depth coverage, scan that QR code on your screen. You can also order your own Stop for Students decal to put it on your car and remind your neighbors how important it is to stay safe and alert on our roads.